So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this natural beat kind of look. Um, I was requested to do this kind of look by my amazing friend Charity. So hi Charity! Um, she wanted like a natural neutral kind of beat look that would be really good for work or school or what have you. So I did this. So I really hope you guys will enjoy the tutorial. It's a long one. Grab you a drink, grab you a snack, get your makeup brushes because it's going to be a long one. Um, but I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm going to be trying to upload at least once a week here on my channel. So if you have any requests, feel free to leave them below. Send them to me on Instagram, on Twitter, um, Facebook, what have you. So without further blabbing, let's get on with the tutorial. We're going to start off by priming the eye and I'm going to use little Lorac uh, behind the scenes eye primer. Any sort of eye primer or sticky base will be fine. And the palette that I'm going to be using today is the ColourPop Cute AF palette and I'm just going to be using colors from this. It's a super affordable palette, cruelty free and has some really nice neutral tones in it for all sorts of looks. And so the first color I'm going to use is going to be a color that is just slightly darker than my skin tone. Um, and I'm going to go with this peach color which is called um, Big Cocktails, I believe. The names on this palette are weird. So I'm going to pick that on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of put that into where the fold of my eye is. And you just want to do back and forth motions to blend out that color. And it just helps add definition while also help keep everything that you put on top to blend out seamlessly. Now that I have that peach shade blended into my crease, I'm going to deepen it a little bit and I'm going to find a deeper shade, not quite like a dark brown, but like a medium light brown shade. And I'm going to be using the color, what is this? Chauffeur, I believe. The names on here are so weird. I think it's Chauffeur. Um, it is like a medium brown. It looks darker on screen but it's like a light kind of like what I would use for like a bronzer um you can obviously use like a bronzer or a contour and I'm just going to take the same brush and just add it to deepen it a bit more and now that that is blended out we're gonna go ahead and add the shimmery color onto the lid. Um, you can use, you know, all matte shades. I like to add shimmery shades on my lid. It just kind of helps brighten up the eyes and I love shimmer. So, um, we are going to be using this beautiful color in here. I believe it is called Spoiled or Butter Cake. I don't know which one it is. Um, cause this, I swear this palette has like the weirdest names and, uh, they're all like placed weird. So I'm not sure which one is which, but, um, I'm going to take this shimmery gold and some of, some metallic like eyeshadows are better put on with your finger. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the pigment. I'm going to apply that on my lid.
and oh my god I love this so much and I'm not gonna go all the way to the end with the gold I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between where the end of my iris is and the very edge of where I put the eyeshadow for a deeper color um, but I really wanted to pack on that gold and I just stopped the color right where those two colors meet um, and I'm just gonna kind of take the brush that I had and I'm gonna just kind of dust it off I'm gonna use it a clean brush and just kind of lightly blend those edges together so you know you don't have a harsh line if you want to do it like a cut crease you can but I'm just gonna try to do this a very simple look and then I'm gonna take a darker more chocolatey brown and this is mischief I'm pretty sure <laughs> And this is a deeper chocolatier brown. And when you're doing a more warm toned look, you want to stick with like the warmer colors. And then when you're doing a cool tone look, you definitely want to stick with the more cool tone colors. So for this, I'm sticking with the more warm colors. And I'm going to grab this warm, like dark chocolate. It looks very cool toned in the palette, but it comes off very warm. And I'm just going to take a little packing brush. And I'm just going to add that on the very outer part. And I'm just going to lightly tap it in. And make kind of like a V shape. Into the crease as well. Doesn't have to be blended in yet. Because we're going to fix that. And once you have that color on, I'm going to take the blending brush again. And just kind of soften it out and then I'm gonna take the brush that I had before and I'm just gonna wipe it off completely all right so I'm gonna take the clean brush and just kind of flick it inward just to blend it in I'm not adding any more shadow I'm not you know doing anything I'm just kind of flicking it in I'm going to add a brow bone highlight now you don't have to do this obviously if you don't want to but i just find that it helps like blend things more seamlessly and all that kind of stuff and i usually do a matte shadow i used to do shimmery um but i do like add a little bit of shimmer at the end but i'm just going to take this matte shadow which i believe is called full zip could be wrong don't know <laughs> but i'm taking a matte uh, skin tone color and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just kind of blend out right up under where my brow would be um, and just blend it out. And now that the top lid is done on this side, I'm going to do the same on this side. Alright, now that both eyes are done, we're going to move on to the lower lash line. And this can be a little bit like subjective on how you personally like your lower lash line I like a dark smoky lash line some people like a brighter lash line um, I always put black on my waterline and lash line just cuz that's my preference um, but if you want a brighter eye you can put a white or a nude on your lower lash line not lash line lower waterline and it'll make your eyes open and pop and stuff but you know and then like do the rest of the color underneath all that good stuff um i also went ahead and put on my face primer which i use a glowy face primer because i just i likes it and using the wet and wild uh dewy photo focus one because I, re I really like it so I'm just taking a black eyeliner. This is the Inglot Coal Pencil in 01. And I'm going to line my waterline and lower lash line as well. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smoke it out with that dark brown. And I like to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation just in case there is fallout um, from the eyeshadow, which happens to me all the time. So I'm taking that same dark brown that I put in the outer crease and I'm just going to kind of connect the outer V and smoke it out with that liner right on top. 
And now I'm going to take a medium fluffy brush and I'm going to take that light brown and just kind of continue the blending down just a bit, not too much. And liner on the top. For beginners, I usually say go with a felt tip liner just because they're easier than liquid. Trust me, oh my god, liquid is... It's rough. Um, so I always go with a felt tip. And I have the Nika K felt tip liner. Don't know the name of it anymore because it has been uh, loved. <laughs> but with the felt tip you have like a really nice sharp point that you can just kind of stamp on your uh, wing. So let's just draw it and then... Connect it and go in and then I go right up to the lash line and connect everything and then fill it in. Yeah, so I'm going to do mascara and eyebrows now. I love the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara because Urban Decay is my the love of my life I love everything they come out with so and now we finish off the face um, I do my brows at the very end just because I get foundation everywhere so for face um, of course put on your primer I like to put it on when I start my eyeshadow but I forgot um, and then you want a foundation that matches your skin tone obviously I'm just using my Fenty uh, foundation. This is in 110. And with this one, you like hella have to moisturize or else you look so dry and so matte. And of course, that's why I also use a dewy um, thing, a dewy primer. And I like to just, just do some little lines. Just so I don't overdo it with the foundation, because uh, I do. Always, I overdo everything. And then I take a wet uh, beauty blender. It is clean. It just stained the hell and back. Um, <laughs> but um, this is from Real Techniques. I'm going to just add extra coverage where I need it. Luckily, my skin hasn't been too, too bad. Knock on wood. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I say that now and then my skin will break out. My skin did kind of have a freak out the other day while I was at work because we did inventory and uh, I had my makeup on for a good like 24 hours because I was awake for 24 hours. Maybe it was longer, not sure. Um, <laughs> that whole uh, inventory overnight thing was a blur. It was... Uh, I think I was awake from noon, uh, noon Saturday till 1 p.m. the next day. So yeah, over 24 hours. And uh, I was delirious. My skin was not happy and uh, my coworkers were really concerned. So shout out to anyone my coworkers is watching. I lived. <laughs> barely um but yeah it wasn't as bad as I thought it was I was just delirious and um quiet and uh they were really concerned um <laughs> and I love my coworkers so much for that they were like you good you quiet over here and I'm like I just zoned out for like an hour it's fine <laughs> you know just Kimmy things now I'm going to conceal under my eyes because we want our eyes to look like bright and fresh like we've slept a full 8 hours, 12 hours, 100 hours and we're refreshed and that we're not vampires. Um, so I like to take two different concealers. I take two different shades that are lighter than my skin tone. Um, because I am transparent, I have to mix. <laughs> so I have a white concealer and then the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro in 101. And then I get 
I'm using this to the last freaking drop, y'all. Like, I am just... Concealer is so freaking good. Like, it's like, what, six bucks? And it's seriously the best concealer of my entire life. I just add it where I need more coverage, which is my entire face. Um, and I like to add a little bit of highlight, like, down the center of my face because, um, I, I, I do. And I just blend it out with the same beauty blender and patting motions. Now I'm going to set my entire face. I'm going to be using the Can Make Powder. And this is in, I think it's in Marshmallow. Um, I got this in Japan. So just use a face powder that is the same color as your skin tone. And if you want, you can add a lighter powder under your eyes and the center of your face. Sometimes I add white um, under my eyes, a white face powder under my eyes, and uh, down the center of my face. But I didn't bring it in the room with me, so I'm not doing that today. <laughs> but you can go a couple shades lighter than your skin tone and set that area. Um, always set your under eyes first because they will crease if you don't. And we don't want any creasy eyeballs. And now we contour. So I'm just gonna use a subtle bronzer just for a natural look. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is the light one. You can use whatever you have. But I like to use a light one when I'm doing more natural makeup just because it's not as harsh. And I take a just a smaller brush and I go in the hollows of my cheeks um, where my ear starts to my the side of my mouth and I just blend all right so now that my bronzer is on um, if you get a little bit too heavy-handed that's fine I just go over with a uh, beauty sponge with the rest of your uh, foundation and just kind of tap it out but I actually did good today which is rare um but with this look since it is mainly warm tones I'm gonna go with a warm tone blush and I'm gonna go with like a peachy sort of blush and this is from Model Co and this is in Peach Bellini it's a more peachy orangey blush so I'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of blend it out and up. And I always end up putting too much, but we're gonna blend that out. And then we're gonna add some highlight, which is one of my favorite parts. And I'm gonna be using Corpse cosmetics uh, sirens glow and eros and it is my favorite um it's a really pretty like shimmery champagne color looks good on all skin types all skin tones just it's super pretty so i take a little kind of like angled brush um this is a duo brush from eco tools it is my favorite highlighting brush and I just take a little bit and I go on the very high part of my cheekbones and I just put a little bit in the cap, honestly, and just kind of just do a line and oh, I love it. Okay. And I always bring it up on my temples as well. And I always highlight my tip of my nose and the center of my nose and top of my eyebrows you know where they would be once I draw them on <laughs> and my chin I don't highlight my cupid's bow because I don't have one um and I usually don't put on lipstick or anything like I'm not a lipstick kind of person at all I uh hate the way it feels honestly I like the way it looks but I hate the way it feels um so yeah welcome to my TED talk <laughs> and now the eyebrows 
and this will like literally fix everything <laughs> make it look complete so I use a blue um, because my hair was dark blue but uh yeah <laughs> it's like faded to like this tealy green color which I'm gonna fix it soon and I just follow the shape of my brow and then build from there that is it for the eye face and then, like I said, I'm not a lipstick person. I'm not a lips person. I usually, okay, I never wear any sort of lip product unless I'm doing a photo shoot or, like, cosplay. And then I just wear it for, like, five minutes and take that shit off because it's annoying. But for a natural look, um, I would just suggest a neutral gloss. Um, you can't go wrong with gloss the Berry M lip gloss and I don't know what shade this is it's shade 10 but it's like a really nice nude neutral with like some gold flecks in it and that is your neutral face look I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope it helped some of you guys I know this is probably another long video but you know what I'm I talk a lot I'm sorry I do I talk a lot <laughs> I'm sorry but if you guys like this video and want to see more definitely let me know in the comments below thumbs up this video and subscribe if you have not also click the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload that I put up here on my channel thank you guys so so much for all your love and support and I will see you in my next video bye it um, he will try to steal it and eat it. So, yeah. Is that what you wanted? You wanted attention? <laughs> Fuck, that's not what I wanted. <laughs>